How do you wash hands correctly? How do you wash hands correctly to be able to pass your CNA state skills? How do you get to pass the hand washing skill? Because it is a skill. What are the things that you should be watching out for? What are the things that you should not do? What are the things that you should do to impress them? And make sure that you pass it even as a part of an ensemble of a skill. Okay, I'm going to answer all that and more. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nurse Amy and welcome to Nurse Amy TV channel. I teach CNA skills. I also teach and coach nursing students through taking exams, exam tips, you know, how to cope with anxiety. I do lifestyle type videos and I do inspirational videos also. That is just me. I like to pay it forward or play it forward like I like to say. So, hand washing. We all know by now, unless you're living under a rock, everybody knows how to at least get 20 seconds in of hand washing. Hand washing is very, very important. Why is hand washing important? Well, for one thing, it breaks that chain of infection. The chain of infection where you have the reservoir, you have the host, you have the, 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 the medium by which it is transported. It could be air, it could be sputum, it could be fecal matter, you know. And the reason why we wash our hands is so we can break that chink somewhere in the, in the, in, 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 uh, in, um, in the chain of infection. That is the important thing. That's why you wash your hands. And that is why you also need to know the skill for washing your hands. So this question is from Jackie. Jackie wrote to me. Jackie did not go through my class, but Jackie, thank you so much. You have been watching my YouTube videos. And so you um, wrote this question. And so I decided I'm gonna answer this because believe it or not, people fail hand washing. What you need to understand, what you need to realize, what you need to remember is that hand washing is a skill. There's a way you're going to wash your hands when you're just standing by yourself or in your own house and no one is testing you to pass you. There is another way to do it effectively and in a perfect way, more or less, to pass your, uh, your state test or even your classroom because again, like in my class, I test my students. If you're not doing the right thing with hand washing, then it's a tough hill to climb, <laughs> to pass, okay? Um, so the thing about hand washing, first of all, make sure you wet your hands first. You get to wet your hands. And again, if you're new to my channel, or for those of you that are returning, you know I have, I believe I have two videos on hand washing. One in my lifestyle section playlist and another in the um, uh, skills, okay? Hand washing is very important. Once upon a time in the state that I taught, hand washing was a standalone skill. Now it's part of a, an ensemble of skills. So hand washing, make sure you wet your hands first. Wet your hands thoroughly, okay? Then reach for the soap. Please do not reach for the soap first before you put soap, um, before you put water in your hands, like a lot of us do. That's fine. When you do that, you're in your house. No one's watching you. And then you make sure there's certain things you need to do. Wash from your wrist down, okay? Your wrist down, your wrist downwards. Um, and then make sure that you actively, that is the part where you're actively washing your hands. You're getting your fingertips. People forget the thumbs. Make sure you get your thumbs. This is how I teach my students and they pass. And then make sure you interlace the fingers. What you're trying to do is to get as much of the lather into your skin to again break that chain, to break that chain of infection. Make sure vigorously you're washing them. Another thing you must try to do, it's important to get the 20 seconds in. So what I tell my students when you're actively washing your hands, go for 30 seconds. It's not gonna kill you, you want to pass this skill. 
don't stop at 20 seconds because again when you do 20 seconds and people are not sure they're like hmm, was that 19 was that 18 seconds was that 20 we don't know go for 30 so no one is in any doubt that you in debt went past 20 seconds whatever it is you do another cookie point do not let your hand touch the sink never ever let your hand touch the sink i've had students fail uh, jackie actually um told me she had done this skill and she failed hand washing and she didn't know why and it was the second time around so hopefully this is giving you some added value so when you go back make sure you get 20 seconds in actively washing your hands when you now rinse it you're not scrubbing just make sure the water goes from your wrist downwards from the wrist downwards okay you have your wrist downwards and then make sure you don't touch this sink make sure your wrist is hanging downwards the water runs downwards towards the tips do not touch the sink if you touch the sink you failed it then another thing again watch my video because it's, i'm very explicit there then another thing is leave the water running you're not turning it off again remember you're being tested this is not your personal home it's not even your place where you work you are being tested go for the paper napkin make sure you pat dry pat dry your hands all the crevices in between your fingers make sure another thing you need to be on the lookout for when you rinse make sure all the soap is gone don't so you look at it make sure you see that all the soap is gone and then you pat dry pat dry pat dry if you want to go for an extra make sure all your hands the water you've it's all saturated um the uh, paper napkin you've pet dry and then get a new one if you look at my video which i'm also going to put somewhere here you're going to find that i hold up one hand again just to let them know that look i'm going to turn up the faucet but this hand is not touching anything i'm using one hand use that hand make sure that your hand doesn't touch the faucet use the hand turn it off and then when you've turned it off when you're going to trash it do not transfer from one hand to the other people do that those are the ways that you're gonna fail so i'm teaching you to pass right now that's why i have this hand up so i don't go back and then i transfer you know the paper towel no i make sure i throw it away and it doesn't come back don't transfer that is contamination another thing i'm going to tell you and these are the things i tell my students and that's why i have such a high passing rate it doesn't matter if there are paper towels or there are you know um dirt around the sink again you're being tested don't pick them up and throw them away <laughs> that is a no-no okay it's a skill wash your hands turn the faucet away throw the tissue paper away do not recontaminate your hands hopefully what i've given you today has given you added value jackie i hope it has and for all of those watching if it has not or you or you have more questions please feel free leave your comments below or again, feel free to write me. People always write me, nurseamyacademy at gmail.com. Please do so. Or, um, or even on my Instagram, nurseamyacademy, you can DM me. Um, Jackie actually DM'd me on Instagram. So hopefully I've helped you here. And um, again, um, please, if you've gotten anything from this, go ahead, smash the subscribe button. Make sure you click. The notification bell so you get you know videos like this when i upload them giving you added value and uh, please be safe out there be safe let's try and contain this virus and that's why i actually wanted to do this um hand washing it would actually help a lot of us you don't have to be in healthcare but if you're in healthcare and you're being tested make sure you do it the right way so until i come your way again be safe be blessed